Hi, this is Rakesh Balokra from Rakesh.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Drupal site from scratch. Uh, Drupal is a content management system and if you want to learn more about it, visit my site Rakesh.com or go to Drupal.org. So when I say scratch, I actually mean from the point when we download the latest release. Uh, currently the latest release of Drupal is Drupal 6.12, so I'm going to get this copy and download it on my computer. Step 1 is to download Drupal on your computer. Step 2 would be to extract the zip file on a different folder on your computer. Once you have unzipped these files on a folder, then you need to upload it to your website. And it goes without saying that to use Drupal you need to have a domain name and you need to have a web hosting account where you can install Drupal and start using it. Uh, if you do not have uh, any hosting account right now, you can go to uh, rakesh.com slash liquidweb, uh, which is the service that I really recommend. Or you can uh, go to rakesh.com and uh, look for uh, web hosting. And I have a few articles that talk about what hosting account should you try, which are the companies that you can trust, and t tell you a little bit more about it. So, for now, as you can see, uh, Drupal has been uh, unzipped onto my computer and now I have to upload it to my site for which I will use a software called WSFTP. Uh, this is made by a company called IP Switch and this is by far one of the most uh, recommended FTP uh, software that I can tell you because I have been using it for a couple of years and I have tried some other tools but uh, nothing even comes close to this. So, as you can see on the left window here, it says my computer, and on the right window here, it says uh, www.reikiexperts.com. Uh, the reason why it says my computer on the left side is because it is reading the content from my computer, and on the right side is my FTP, is my site's FTP account. So I have actually logged into my website, and now I need to transfer all the contents of this folder to the root which is public underscore html of my site. So if you are not very familiar with web hosting, all you have to do is log into your website using the FTP information that was provided to you by the hosting company and you will see a screen something uh, like this, cPanel, HT passwords and all these folders you have to double click on the folder called public underscore html and copy all the files from the drupal 6.12 folder uh, the version can be different on your computer because uh, 6.12 is the latest release when i recorded the software so once you select all the files hit the green button that says upload and this will upload the files to the website now the next step is to go to the cPanel of your site and create a database and I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to your website slash cPanel. cPanel stands for control panel and uh, you need a username and password to log in. Okay, I don't need to save this information right now. Right. Once you log into your cPanel, which would look uh, very similar to this screen here, you need to head towards MySQL Databases. And under Databases, you would see there's a link for MySQL Database. Click on this. Yeah, you need to create a new database and you can create a new database called Drupal. Go back. Now every database has a user associated with it, so you need to create a new user. I usually name my users the same as my database and put a test password there. Okay, so the passwords enter do not match, okay, so I did not put them right. All right, so I'm running out of my time of this video, so watch my next video.